Hello everyone, my name is Mason Sullenberger, Applications Engineer with Akuma, and today we're going to be taking a deeper look into our OSP P500 control, some of these similarities, differences from the P300, and why your transition will be smooth. One of our goals on our P500 control was to make the control panel similar between machine types. Even going between mill and lathe, we're going to have very similar layouts with few changes to where our buttons are located. On lathes, we are now going to have an independent rapid and feed override as standard. And then in an effort to declutter, our machine operation button has moved to a vertical function key on our touchscreen, where you'll find all your manual operations for the machine. Also, all lathes will now have a detachable and movable pulse handle pendant standard on our machines. Even with these changes to our control panel, it will be easy for operators and programmers to transition from P300 to P500. As you can see here, our operation screen still looks identical to P300. Program, tool data, and parameters will still function the same as a P300. Along with this, all of your P300 programs will still be able to run on the same model machines that have P500 control. With our upgraded machine design and control panel, our MacBand button has now been moved to a vertical function key on the touchscreen. And when we press this button, we will see our report info and operation history is a lot more easy to understand and read. To increase productivity and efficiency, Akuma has now added a second processor to our P500 control. And along with other safety features, we now have CE chucking, which will eliminate the need for proc switch adjustment on job changeovers.